For over 80 years now, there has been a place in Miami that has touched the lives of thousands of people who are blind or visually impaired and has helped them see the light. A place that takes away the fear that comes with the darkness and gives hope and encouragement. That place is Miami Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Miami Lighthouse has a history that goes back almost as long as Miami has existed. In 1929, Dolly Gamble moved to Miami and she said to her friend Helen Keller, there aren't any blind people in Miami. And we all know that probably they were institutionalized and that's not too far from the truth. And with the help of the Miami Rotary Club, the Miami Lions Club, the dream of Helen Keller and Dolly Gamble became a reality. In 1931, the Miami Lighthouse began. The Lighthouse has always been known for innovation and for programs that help the blind and visually impaired live better, more complete lives, and helps them manage the challenges that come with everyday living. One of my prime positions here at the Lighthouse is to find jobs and provide good uh, research tools to help our participants uh, be able to locate jobs via the internet, to teach them good uh, interviewing techniques that would give them good skills to hopefully land a job and make an impact. Dr. Bascom Palmer, who was an ophthalmologist here in Miami in the early uh, 1920s and 30s, uh, was quite interested in developing vision care programs in Miami. He also requested that monies be set aside and land be given to create an eye clinic. This eye clinic became the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, and it was his vision to make this eye clinic and the Miami Lighthouse second to none. The uh, aging population presents a challenge in terms of vision loss. These patients oftentimes don't have any ways to improve their condition with medicines or surgery, and all we can offer them are services that will rehabilitate them so that they can maximize the use of the vision that they still have. Blind babies and toddlers are helped in so many ways at the Lighthouse, helping them develop their abilities and prepare for a productive future. I didn't know that Lighthouse for the Blind existed in Miami. I never saw it. And, um, and I'm very, very glad to have been recommended to come here and that we found a home here. The parents are happy, we all come here together week after week and we're doing it and we're not giving up. This is such a key age where they learn to grip, they learn to eat well, they, they learn uh, motor skills and, and uh, just basically to interact with other people. This to me was a one-stop shop with incredibly capable and compassionate people that love their job and uh, it was uh, just a wonder to see. Programs for children help blind kids have fun, enjoy new experiences, and learn new skills all at the same time. Braille literacy is a vital skill, and it is taught and mastered at Miami Lighthouse. Hi, I'm Jose Feliciano, and I'm here at the Miami Lighthouse, where students are learning to read and write Braille. For me, I was born blind, so Braille meant a lot because it was a way that I could educate myself and read books. With our aging population of baby boomers, challenges related to low vision are on the rise. And Miami Lighthouse is right there with programs and solutions. Well, what we offer here in the low vision area is low vision exams for those people who are finding that they're having a lot of difficulty with their daily tasks as far as reading, uh, writing, computer work. Uh, once their doctors have told them that there's nothing else that can be done surgically or with glasses, then they'll come here to see what other kind of assistance would be available for them. And a lot of these people are elderly. Many of them live on their own. And it makes, it makes for a very frightening experience. So if they're able to come here, I think it gives them a little bit of relief. 
Miami Lighthouse programs are reaching out to seniors with in-home services and mobile eye clinics. Through our Hike and Children's Vision program, over 5,000 needy children receive a comprehensive eye exam and glasses each year. Children and adults take advantage of Miami Lighthouse's music program that has produced its own CDs and has enabled students to go on and study at world-famous music colleges. If I sat on my piano and wrote you a song, what would you do? What would you do? Berkeley, I mean, I never thought I was going to go there. I got enough foundation from the lighthouse to be able to be independent over there and to learn more and to grow. They're not going to have to start with the basic, basic, basics because I met, I worked really hard and I, you know, I came here. No wonder Miami Lighthouse has been named a national center of excellence and has been recognized by so many in this community and across the U.S. for its vital role, for its scholarships, and the new internship program that offers practical experience for students working towards certifications as orientation and mobility specialists. And so much more. Miami Lighthouse has been here for 80 years. Um, and in, in some regards, we, we feel like we're, we're, we're just coming into our own now. Um, it's been an incredibly well-run organization providing fantastic service to the community. But really, over the last six or seven years, we have made tremendous strides. The community for the last 80 years has been very generous in supporting Miami Lighthouse. And it's because of the community Miami Lighthouse is able to do what it does. It's because of our community that Miami Lighthouse has a national reputation of excellence. And the community hopefully for the next 80 years will continue to do the same. 80 years of touching lives, of providing hope confidence and independence, of being the bright light for so many blind and visually impaired people who call Miami home. Miami Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. See the light. It's for you, the chance of coming alive. You decide to come alive with the light.